Hello everyone. So I am working out of Logic and I'm using <clears throat> Guitar Rig to control a effect for my virtual guitar. So I got my guitar loaded up here, right? It's running out of contact. And so I want to load up Guitar Rig so I can add an effect to it and also control um, the parameters of the effect for example like a wah effect alright alright so this is for people like me who has a MIDI controller other than a pedal board I have a MIDI keyboard I'm using my Roland FA08 and so I wanna be able to bring up a wah effect I wanna be able to control the wah effect with a knob or a fader or a modulation wheel to simulate a, a guitar player who would have a, a wah effect on their guitar. So the first thing I need to do of course is have my guitar sound. Alright and the next thing I need to do is I need to bring up another software instrument track. Now the problem that I was having before I will load guitar rig as a plug-in which I can't control in real time or there's ways to do it but it's just a long complicated I wouldn't say long but it is a more of a complicated setup so this may be a little easier so I load up another software instrument track and I load oops I load guitar rig as a MIDI control effect all right. All right. So that's loaded up. So I need to go back a step here. So after creating your virtual instrument track of your guitar, I need to actually, oh, it's already done. Instead of having a stereo out, I need to bus it out. So I'll go to bus one. So make sure that you change the output to a auxiliary and you go back to car guitar rig and I'm going to load a filter in here and it will be of course a wall effect now I need to right click hit learn and so it's ready to receive the signal so I'll do that right there. Re after it's received the message, then a pop-up box should appear saying, hey, I received a new message. Is this what you want? And you click OK. I don't know. My, mine didn't pop up yet, so I'm going to go ahead and keep going. Oh, there it is. OK. So now, oh, actually, let me go back here. Now, right here where the side chain option is, I need to go to that bus. So it could, so that it could receive, so this track can receive the incoming effect. Okay. All right. So, so if I arm record both of these, I have my Y effect. Alright, so that's how you do it. It's very simple. One thing to keep in mind. Now let me unarm guitar guitar rig. Now if I unarm guitar rig and just have my guitar, actually the modulation, um, my modulation was already assigned to like a a tremolo effect. So you want to be sure what you want to be sure whatever knob, fader, or wheel that you're using, that it's not already sending a MIDI code for an effect. So make sure it's totally available. Because I just use my modulation wheel just as just for the purpose of this video, but my modulation wheel is already assigned to this effect. So I hope that helps. Please subscribe and uh, check out for more videos.